lot of uh, diversity and huge 3x3 fan base. As you can see, we got a packed house, y'all. Nobody can pack that. Vyakus straight to the rack. Inkbot, that is a grown man bucket. Sign that ball for me. Dog gun, stronger than a crowbar. So he'll step up to the stripe and try to complete the two point play to the hard way. Does it go down? Yeah, it does. Mongolia taking early edge here in the first 15 seconds of this 10 minute sprint. Uzi will get it down low. Matulis, Faker. Nice move. And a quick foul on Green. All right, here we go back again. This is Pool B men's action. Top seed from each group goes directly to the quarterfinals. The second and third seeds will go to the last 16 and play in a play-in game to get to that quarterfinal stage. And uh, uh, obviously the fans here are waiting for the Belgium women's team to take the court next and cap today. But they have been engaged watching countries that have nothing to do with them, really. That's because they love the game of 3x3. It's quick, it's epic, it's Olympic. Have you heard that before? Take that back. Bayekus will now give it to Tarvidis. What? That was nice ball movement. They are in sequence on this Lithuanian team. And Bayekus, I know he's the most spectacular player mostly because of his offense, but oh, he gave us the Carl Malone. He's relaxing with his head behind his head. Somebody get him a nice drink with a straw and an umbrella in it, if it's that easy. Four-two. Delgarnyam Davasambu hands it off to Anand Ariambo. Flick of the wrist, rolls off the rim. Uzi tracks down the rebound. Baikus will receive the ball, but there's a foul down low, and I think that's called on Ujupis. Vaidkus will check out. I don't think he'll be out for long. Matulis defending up top, Aryan Bowl. He's moving left with Uzi in defense. We got another whistle, another push. That's an offensive foul. I mentioned some of the points of emphasis this year in terms of the officiating, one of them being the three-second violation with your back to the bucket as soon as the ball touches the ground. But also, it's supposed to be a pick and roll, not a push and roll. So if you extend those arms, you are going to get a whistle. Ujupis cannot give them a bucket. So he will get a rest. Darius Tarvadis is in. Inkbop will start the possession. Aryan Bowl. He pulls the trigger. And that ball lands right in the hands of, of Nina. You know, she's been able to, she's been known to be able to hoop herself. But she was not looking for the shot. And another foul on uh, Mongolia. So we're two minutes in and we've seen the whistle blown now nine times, eight times, four fouls apiece. Neither team willing to give up an inch. I like your cut, G. Backdoor feed from Ujupis to Tarvidis. Tarvidis reaches over, deflects it for the moment. The bull charging to the rim. He's sent away, but nice floater that uh, goes down as Mongolia will keep pace. 5-3. The Bull with the move. 
Who made up that choreography? I like it. 5-4. Navasambu called for the foul. Well, this is looking like it's going to be a hack fest. Like this action. Three-man weave. Matulis. Crazy shot. And you guessed it. Another whistle. The official's cheeks are going to be burning. Their lungs getting some extra work in this one. They have been blowing that whistle. Justifiably so. Dogun sneaks to the rim, but I think that hesitation at the last moment cost him the bucket. That's okay. They are going to make up for it without a problem. Anol Batar is able to put it up in the end. Baikus. Air. We are tick under seven minutes to go in this contest. 5-5 five, five across the board. Five points, five fouls apiece. Let's listen in to the Mongolian Warriors. What's the strategy? The bull heads it off to Aryan Bowl. Just a little bit off on his math on that release. To the ball back over to Green. Lithuania. Oh, wow. Tarvita steps back. That was way off in the deep end. Aryan Bowl is going to respond with a one point score. Foul on the inside, and that's on the floor. So he won't get the free throw attempt. And Mongolia have no more fouls to give without going into the penalty. Baikus will open up, top of the key. Here we go. Ujupis from the free throw line. Elbow. Tarvidis, he just knocked one down. Is this a heat check? It is. Hey, you better check up. Nike couldn't check him. Forget the swoosh, that's a swish. As Anol Batar, he answers right back. But you can't fight twos with ones. Oh, Tarvid is, is going ham right now. He's going off like a fire alarm. Somebody turn that thing off. 10-7. Tarvid is, now will swing it. He's going to let somebody else have some fun. Why not? Baikus, he takes two. And we got action. 12-7. It is absolutely raining. If you're on this Lithuanian team, 12-7. The Bull, he will put up a tough one. That finds the bottom of the net. So Mongolia keeping pace. Oh, Dogun, he is sneaky. Steals that one away as Anol Batar puts that one up. Vaikus will snatch the board. Tarvidis, he's made his last two twos. Why not give him another opportunity? Oh, or just do that. Sharon is Karen. Sets up Uzi for the easy lay. It's back to a five-point game. Davasambu, strong, but too strong on the jump hook. Now Uzi trying to empty the clip. Uzi, he's out of there. Finishes with the filet. And Vaikus with, look like maybe a fatigue foul. There was no need to, to foul there, but he's tired. He's going to take a moment for himself and just catch his breath. 3x3 will do this to you. Time out on the floor. And as we listen in to the Lithuanians. Hey, mass control. Oh, 
Arjen Bo, you, he's thinking too. I knew he would be. He, there's contact on that two ball. Tarvidas knows it too. When you contest that two, you want to go straight up. The moment you start leaning into the shooter or leaning towards the shooter, you're going to put yourself in jeopardy of being called for a foul. And certainly contact that puts the 25-year-old on the line. Anon Aryan Bold. Splash that. Just saw him a few weeks back at the Manila Masters. He uh, put on a pretty good show out there. He splits the pair of free throws. Lithuania is still enjoying a five-point lead for now. Vaidkus, front rimmed it. Strong offensive rebound from Matulis. Oh, he took him to spin class. Drew the foul, and Matulis will now shoot. Again, Lithuania is your two seed here. Silver medalist at the Europe Cup 2021. They're trending upward in the right direction. Matulis now extends that lead to six. Both teams in a penalty. No. So he splits two. Aryan Bow. He's trying to get some free space. Can you give him a taste? Not that time. Inkbot, good offensive rebound. He's going to try it at a closer range. He misses the Nobatar, the same result. He'll try again. If you fail, then try, try again. Oh, Vaikus got his cookies took. Quick hands from the Mongolians in a 10 5 contest. Make that 11 to 15. Not 10 5. You know what I meant, though. It's a four point difference. Vaikus, whoa, yeah, missed it right at the rim. Maybe some of that fatigue starting to show on the Lithuania squad. Travel called, shuffled his feet before going into that offensive attack. And we have a TV timeout with 3.48 left in a game that's not decided yet. Mongolia only trailing by four. Open your ears. Let's listen. So as we get back to it, Matulis, he quickly gets it to Ujupis. Look at the action. Oh, they practice that play. It's Harvardis. The betrayal. That ball did not participate. It just looked like it was going in. Oh, good rock from left to right. Matulis is everywhere. This dude is straight D and up. But they give it right back. Ikba will drop it off. Can Aryan Bowl connect? He has not found his service yet. Tarvid is now clear lane for takeoff. Put your tray tables up. Davasambu, nope. Matulis, nah. Ikbat to Davasambu, the bull. He misses and then scores. Missed chance for the Lithuanians. And Ref Ed ain't playing around. He gives Lithuania a warning for bickering with the officials. Tarvid is one of the foul called. He didn't get it. If they decide to argue again, they're likely going to get a T. Wow, dang. <laughs> There's the 
there's the Mongolian contingent. Several Mongolian flags flying in the audience here. As they brought their own cheering section. Aryan Bolt trying to sell that foul. He does not, they don't buy it. But Mongolia does get hit with a foul. And each team will see free throws with any defensive foul. Even uh, Yasmina telling the Mongolian players to stop talking. No complaining. Lithuania pulls within four points of the desired destination, which is that 21 point mark. That's the finish line in this 10 minute sprint. They now have three to go. 18, 12. Somebody has got to lose. Matulis. Uh uh. Aryan Bowl. Deep two. Front rim to Tarvidis. Quickly to the corner. That ball is stuck. Wedgie. That takes a different type of skill to complete a wedgie. Yeah, use Ujupis. That's the smart thing. Does he get that point? You got to reward a guy for giving that extra effort. He's playing in a 10 minute sprint. He's jumping up there getting wedgies for you. And then, and then we're going to show the replay. <laughs> Man, we can be cruel sometimes. And that's not a highlight. Oh, put him in the bucket. Why not? The bull is bullying. Okay, Dabasambu can. Cut this to a two possession game with a buck 55 left. Hell. It goes. And if this one goes, the crowd is really going to let the Mongolians hear it. And Davasambu does it. We got a 15 18 game, folks. They leave Darius Tarvidis. Tarvidis. He's driving, and he's finishing 19-15. The bull too strong that time. Ujupis. Oh, look at the rotation. That's it. It is over with like that. The Uzi unloads and hits his mark. So it is the Lithuanians who remain unbeaten. They go 2-0. And Mongolia fall at their hands. Take another look. Uzi pulling the trigger with the left. He is a lefty. And they're going to leave this arena with another W. 21-15.